Britain's Days Lewis Women. Now, our final guest today is without doubt one of the most talked about and famous women in the country. So, here to lift the lid on the latest dramatic chapter in her life, please give a warm welcome to Katie Price. <laughs> Katie, we believe we've got a lovely wee baby back in the green room, yeah? We have multitasking, feeding, winding, and in between the adverts, I'm like, like someone hold him quitting and I'm like that. <laughs> How old is he now? Oh, well, if he was full term, then he'd be four, week, um, four weeks old, but he's about ten weeks or something Aww. now. So is he still really tiny? He's massive. He's like <laughs> a pudding. He loves his milk, so that's all good. He's caught up with himself, so... Oh, that's Aww. good. How I do you feel? Love it. Do you feel all right? Well, like I say, Harvey's the hard work one. So um, anyone, any baby's a breeze compared to Harvey. So, and he's with me, comes everywhere with me till he goes to nursery, and then a nanny will help me. But up until then, newborns that they come everywhere. So and how, how, how are the other yeah. kids uh, dealing with the new one? They love him. Princess tries to copy me by jiggling him about and helping to bath. <laughs> Junior Brilliant. just wants to like play with him. I'm like, well, you can't yet because he doesn't can't really see properly yet. And then Harvey, he draws pictures of him, so that shows that he's connected with him. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. And what's he called, the new brother? Well, the French, they called him Jet. Oh. Not that there's much different, but it's Jet. Who <laughs> <laughs> you choose the name? I let Kiram choose. Yeah. Because I had, like, weird names like Prince and all of that. He said, oh, you're not calling him that. And I thought, well, I've got Princess. But anyway, Jet. Yeah. So he's so you're you know you're a you you've been a mother now for what ten uh, half is now ten eleven yeah uh, eleven uh, lots yeah. lots of it, <laughs> I always forget my I, I forget know. my children's names oh. so you've had lots of experience uh, how's Kieran dealing with it because first time dad he's so hands on he helps with the night feeds um, I couldn't have asked for anything better he's so good. And, you know, normally when you have a babe or something, you get a bit stressed with each other. We still haven't had an argument. Not that I'm saying we need to. <laughs> but you're considering all the stress we've been through, he's so laid back and it's just, it's worked really well, actually. Are you like me? I said earlier that in a row, I'll just say anything to end it, because I hate having a row Depends if I'm in the right or not. <laughs> Which, of I course, I'm you always are. in the right. <laughs> No, it's it difficult though when you, I mean, I know you, you're an experienced mum, but when you have a new baby, you know, it, it is a difficult time. You had an emotional time around the birth because you had an emergency cesarean. Oh, it's a nightmare. And oh. Kieran, the right guy, and everybody, you don't know him that well because you. Do you know what's weird, right? It is weird. We're married, had a baby, we haven't even been together a year. Worked that out. Wow. <laughs> well, exactly. But nearly a year. Did you just know? How, how did that happen? Well, I didn't even want to meet anyone, and anyway, a friend introduced me to him because he, he's been wanting to know me for a year. Um, so anyway, we got talking on BBM. I don't know if any of you know BBM. Yeah. And then I kept deleting him, thinking, oh, I can't be bothered. So they rang me up and said, have you just deleted me? I went, oh, no, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and because he was so persistent, I thought, oh, I might as well just meet him. Just to get rid so, of him? Yeah, just to say, <laughs> OK. And I met him, and that was it. Oh. Five Do weeks later in the Bahamas. Do you know what puzzles me crazy. about... You is that you are so independent, so oh. self Oh, it's a lovely photograph, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Mm. Uh, oh. So self sufficient, you don't need anybody to take care of you because you, you know you can look That's after it. yourself. Yeah. And yet, you have had a number of relationships and it's been well documented yeah. a, in a short space of time. Have you ever thought, you know what, I, I'm not going to have a bloke for a while? I just, I don't I want to. I try and stay single, but it never happens. <laughs> <laughs> Say that because I've said happens. that, and they all I moan do at try, me. but then I'm the kind of person. Hence, why I've got so many animals, and I like lots of children. I like to give lots of love, and I obviously love to have it back. But you know, you only live once. Yes, it costs money to get married, but it costs more money to divorce. So I'm not <laughs> going to divorce this one. <laughs> Are you an only child? Have you got siblings? No, I've got um, my mum and dad divorced when I was younger. So he's got two girls, and then I've got my brother and my sister, so... So maybe that's why you want lots of people around you, I was just thinking. So no, I've just always loved... I still want more children now. Really? Don't you ever want to yeah. like when it's really quiet and there's just you there? No. <laughs> I do have that, cos it's called getting your kids into a routine so you get your time at night. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, like, military at night. In the bath, wash your hair, pyjamas... Yeah. Have like you got this. your own system, or do you follow one of those Gina Ford? My own, my own system. Because yeah. when they get older, they get a bit more gobby, don't they? So yeah. don't listen. <laughs> it's so. interesting seeing Simon Cowell in the paper today saying, you know, that he wants to the call the baby Simon, and he wants, yeah. you know, to sort of... Almost, it sounds like, create the baby in his own image, to, you know, to teach him the rules of the business, etc. In terms of your children, what kind of life would you like to see them having? Would you like to see them emulating you? Well, for me personally, I took them out of filming and doing photo shoots with them because as soon as they started school, I thought the trouble would start where people would recognise them on TV. So personally, myself, I don't do that. 
but their dad chooses to still put them in these show and photo mm. shoots, even though I've asked him not to. Um, so I do want the kids to grow up as their own independent, to be successful themselves, not on the back of us. Mm. So it's very hard when I don't talk to Pete and it's complicated. But yeah. what career would you like them to have? Would you say to Princess, you know, be like me, be a successful business? Oh, no, woman. don't be in this industry. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Really? Would you, yeah. say, would you say that? Would you well, want it's them so, off? like, two-faced, backstabbing, people try and rip you off, you know, and it's quite tough as well. Don't, well you it's must served know. you well, though, hasn't it? I am a proper grafter, and I haven't come from any family of money. I'm completely self-made. Mm. Um, yeah, I started off on page three, but I didn't know any different then. And, mm. you know, that was when I was 17. I'm 35 now, mm. and I still can't believe I'm still here. But if am. Princess came to you mm. and said that someone had asked her to take her top off or to do glamour photos, what would you say to her? I think, which dirty old man wants you to do that? <laughs> <laughs> So, I'd help guides. I'd, well, yeah. What can you say? I don't think you can stop them doing it. You can. But it's difficult, Helga, because you know, they all practice yeah. what you preach. Then, could you say that to her? Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I've done because look what I've got now. So, but I'll just guide them, and I'm not a stupid person, so I'll check them all out properly. But I don't think she want to do that anyway. She's not an exhibitionist like me. <laughs> Junior <laughs> is. Junior <laughs> is, but she's not. Different personality. Yes. Well, listen, it's all and a lot more is here in the book. Uh, there it is. It's your, it's your fifth autobiography. I think you should call it your diaries. Uh, because so I think do we're I. That's more, exactly yeah, your what diary. it is. So there you go. Love, <laughs> lipsticks and lies, and it's all there on the back. Um, well, Katie, it's uh, lovely you. to see you, and there's Thanks. now going to be a stampede till we all go to uh, the green room to, to get hold of your baby. <laughs> Yes, I can't uh, sniff so him. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be able to sniff him. Don't worry about it. She's not being safe. Katie Price, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>